All right, I'm Daniel Whittington. This is Tom Fisher. Together we started the Whiskey Marketing School here at Wizard Academy. We're hanging out here in the Whiskey Vault yeah. because why would you want to hang out anywhere else? I wouldn't. Um, now, <clears throat> as long as I've known Tom, which is, to be plain, not long enough, <laughs> um, I, I've known he's Bourbon Guy, right? Bourbonblog.com, right, right. you're the bourbon man. Now I got in, my gateway to whiskey was scotch. Single malt, blended, didn't matter, just scotch, right? Bourbon has not really been my thing now because I have been hanging out with Tom. I'm now being introduced to bourbon. And yes, I do like it. It's not that I dislike it. I'm just not convinced. I'm not convinced that bourbon is better than scotch. Why am I wrong? Why is bourbon better than scotch is the question. <laughs> so I'm going to pour for you uh, some Angel's Envy. Now, this is not just like any bourbon. This is a... Uh... A bourbon that's been finished in a port wine barrel. Mm. So one reason I think that bourbon is better than scotch are some of the sweet characteristics that can also pick up other characteristics like the port fair barrel finish. Mm. Say that again. Like the port barrel finish. And um, it's easier to drink for a longer period of time than scotch. Okay. Scotch is a little tougher to drink a whole lot of. Uh, I think I'm going to have to disagree yeah, with you there. I know, right. <laughs> Except for you. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm giving Tom three chances to prove to me, <laughs> only three chances to prove to me that bourbon can be better than scotch. This could be tough. I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. Now, I also get three chances to prove to you that you're wrong by pouring you three scotch whiskeys that I have chosen, mm, right? Oh now, my. okay. Now, <clears throat> You did happen to pick one of the bourbons that you made me fall in love it's with really early on, stuff. so yeah, I, knew I feel like yeah. you're cheating because <laughs> you have a backstory. <laughs> All right. Mm. So Angel's Envy, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey finished in port barrels. It is rather divine with a name like Angel's Envy. Man, there's just nothing wrong with that. It's really nice, huh? Dang it. <laughs> I'm gonna make this hard on you though. Yeah, right? but yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I took my the three I chose a different direction than you took the three. You're trying to win my heart and mind. Right, I'm, I'm, well, I'm trying to put, a, put forward a good argument. I'm here. trying to overwhelm you with blunt force <laughs> when it, with the whiskeys I chose. <laughs> I someone, okay. Someone once said there are no uh, bad bourbons, there are only better bourbons. Okay. All so right, that's one because I need to go through six of these. Okay. Let's set this down. Okay. <laughs> Here. Are we? Yeah. We're going to start. Yeah, you're, now I know how you're trying to get yeah. me to give up the, the ghost on this. He's trying to get me drunk so that I agree <laughs> to anything he says. I should have gone right for cast strength. Yeah, That's right. what I should have done. Okay. This is my turn now. Okay. okay. We're going to take turns. Now. I'm going to start with, I, I was going to start with a different one, but then when you pour it Angel's Envy, I'm changing my mind. So um, <laughs> He's changing his strategy. I'm now going to start with Dalmore, uh, Dalmore Cigar Malt. And you cannot tell me that this isn't one of the best things that you've ever tasted in whiskey. Uh, and you notice we're not talking about tasting notes. We're not really talking about even the whiskeys. If you right. want to look these up, go look it up. Dalmore Cigar Malt. You won't be disappointed. And I'm pouring small amounts. Because I play fair, <laughs> and I'm not trying to get you drunk. I just, I just like big pours. That's all there is to it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cheers all right. to you, sir. Slosh now I didn't do what Richard Patterson would say was the only correct thing to do, which is slosh some on the floor. But that's because I'm not standing in a vault containing, you know, 50 <laughs> years of Delmore history, and uh, this is the only cigar malt I have. We wouldn't want to waste any of that. I'm not throwing that on the floor. So apologies. It already smells like whiskey enough. Oh, yeah. See, it that's all. Lovely. Oh, come on. Mm. I think this could absolutely stand up to Angel's Envy right there. Well, they are both really up. It's like Christmas. It is. It is. And there aren't any uh, bourbons that have cigar in the name as far as I know. No, this isn't because they shoved a cigar down inside the bottle when they're aging. It's not? It. It's just I because... Thought I, saw yeah. some, I thought I saw something I know, right? It's because... <laughs> It's because it goes well with a cigar. Now, I'm going to disagree with that, too. I, I like that they call it cigar malt, mm. but I could never mix that with a cigar because you can't taste anything after you start smoking a oh, cigar. Oh, that's tough, yeah. That's when I would start drinking bourbon. <laughs> 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 Sorry, just kidding. <laughs> All right, so set these aside. We're running out of glasses now. 
We may have to reuse. Um, reuse. That's all right. I'll tell you what, here's what we're going to do. We'll reuse okay. these. We can do that. Four small amounts. And you didn't finish your Delmar. No, oh, whoops. I meant to. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see. Come on, let's keep some decorum in here. Yeah. All right. What direction are we going? Um... Uh, I could I'm not going to look. I'm just going to wait until you bring it over here. All right, hold on. He's and we are, person. notice, uh, I'm going to tell you, we are wearing our whiskey Somali medallions because we are whiskey Somalis. And also because we just finished a class of level one certification whiskey Somali. All right. Oh, no, sir, you did not. Well, I, I changed my strategy, too, because he said <laughs> he said poor small amounts, right? So uh, uh, not that I'm really trying I don't trying think we've to... even uh, pulled the... Oh, oh. Don't... oh, oh well, look at that. Go. Yeah. So this is Booker's. This is a cast strength bourbon. In the, uh, the grand scheme of things, really before Booker's was released, there weren't any cast strength bourbons on the market that I know of. But um, if I'm ever wanting to give an example of a cast strength bourbon that has not been watered down, this is really divine. Okay, 60, well, sixty-four point three five. Who dang! I think uh, <laughs> now you're now you've changed to brute force strategy, yeah, yeah, and was, yeah. and by pulling out bookers, you've, you're playing to the crowd. There you go. I'm just Lady saying. Stuff. But this is what it I, would would, taste I might like. call that pandering. <laughs> this is what it would taste like right from the barrel. So cheers. Hey. Taste all those. Uh, now you're talking about Christmas. Wait a minute. How about Christmas Are you sure that's that high alcohol content? Yeah. That may be the smoothest high alcohol bourbon I've ever tasted. 60, almost 65% alcohol. Seven years, two months, and 16 mm -hmm. days, according to this uh, that, label. That is really well, good. Well, sir, well played. Thank you. Well played. That's tasty. That it's normally the corn that throws me off, but this is a... Now that would stand up to a cigar. Yeah, this might this might smoke my cigar for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see your bookers. <laughs> yeah, I'll see your bookers, and I'll raise you a Brooklyn organic. Mm. Now, the organic is uh, a special uh, edition of the Brooklyn line, right? But what I found with Brooklyn is trying to figure out what's happening in this whiskey is it's like trying to read the labels on a Formula One race car as it drives by. <laughs> Everything happens so fast, you're not sure what you taste, but you do know it's awesome. Mm. <laughs> and then you think, if I, maybe the next sip, I'll be able to figure out what's in there. And then you take your next sip and it goes <laughs> like fireworks. <laughs> and then you're like, I almost had it. Maybe in the next sip. <laughs> and and then you wake up on the lawn. Oh yeah. Mm. Now this is an Isla yeah. single malt, by the oh. way. That's a Highland single malt. So, see the thing about Scotch is it has regions unlike American whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, but when it's this good, you what, just have states of yeah. origin. That's but not, when it's that's this good, you need a region. The region that you know is just good flavor. Oh, come on. And that's the only region you need. Come on, right? And really, and the only thing, I do love the flavor, but uh, with, with the scotch, how do you even pronounce this stuff? Yeah, <laughs> you, you look up YouTube videos. For a lot of yeah. or, you befriend, no, I, or you befriend a Scottish yeah. person and you ask them. I've learned how to pronounce it. You've taught me. Brocladi. Yeah. Oh, it's not, and it's organic too. Well, you know, yeah. environment. Safety yeah. first. Yeah. That's our motto. Once again, land and dram united. Mm. All right, sir. Now you went All first, right. which um, which means I'm gonna get the final word. The but this words. is your yeah. This is, this is your. I told you you were cheating with the 65 percent alcohol. Yeah, this is the box. This is your plan's backfiring yes, on it you. Yes, it is. It is. This is your last chance. I'm on the fence. Right. I think you picked two really amazing bourbons. They're really good. Yeah. But I still prefer scotch. Oh. You, just, you only have one last shot to turn this thing around. Can he do it, folks? Can he do it? Uh, I was th I'm thinking about changing my strategy here. Yeah, I've heard that before. I think I heard that like two and a half minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go for the Four Roses single barrel. Bring it on, baby. Right? Because being a single barrel, you know, it all comes from one barrel and one really good barrel from Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Now, really did they delicious. name their barrels, you know, like, like Doug? 
This one might be. I think this one is. Uh, <laughs> this one might be uh, Fred. Or Jim. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right there. Or K.E. The, oh, well, it's right there. K.E. Yeah, yeah K.E. Short Ke for Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Four Roses that, Bourbon. That's right. From the Kevin barrel. Now, really, every single barrel. I actually, think. Um, I think oh, maybe uh, we made it. Uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> cameraman is up. getting in uh, on the action. Thirsty man, I understand. <laughs> okay. So every 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 single barrel has the. <laughs> Has the warehouse and the barrel number on it, okay. so that's what we're doing. Well, but this is actually a hundred proof, fifty percent. I think it's possible um, that maybe choosing three whiskeys each is uh, leading towards a uh, general status of decreasing our ability to correctly judge the quality of what we're tasting. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I could judge for a while here. I, I mean, obviously right. the cameraman yeah. has been in for the ride the whole time because he just broke the fourth wall. And made us pour him some bourbon. Oh yeah, all right. Tasty stuff. Now tell me about Four Roses. A lot of mm. wheat, a lot of rye compared to the corn, or well, not? Well, this particular uh, one comes. They do ten different recipes at Four Roses. Okay. Ten different mash bills. Uh, this comes from one particular mash bill that is released as a single barrel. So this is really delicious. It's delicious by itself, delicious in a cocktail. It's kind of like a cocktail in a glass. I think something. you're avoiding my question. I am, because I'm... <laughs> I don't want to answer. I don't want to say the wrong thing. I'm all right, all right, all right, yeah. all right. Like, all right. A, like a boatload? Like, yeah, like a answer. lot. Yeah, a lot. Let me answer that question. No, it's really, uh, it's delicious stuff. All uh, right. Isn't that good? Damn it. Is that good? See, the, my problem with bourbon originally was that, to me, bourbon tasted harsh, right? Yeah. So, uh, and it could be the new barrels, it could be high proof, I'm not really sure, but I would drink scotch and it felt just rich and comfortable, and then the high corn felt really dramatic and aggressive and very sweet, which is not really my thing. Um, I'm not really very sweet. And, uh, but these are really what are they good? Uh, these are really nice. I gotta well, say. that's a nice blend of sweet and oak. I mean, I think it's a blend of, of, of the smoke too. I mean, there's a lot of different worlds that come together in one. And you know, uh, most of the world's used bourbon barrels mm. go to Scotland to age scotch. Fair enough. Not Fair too enough. many scotch barrels come to uh, Fair enough. <laughs> that's America. A, to wait age a minute, bourbon. that's cheating because you have to use <laughs> new barrels. Yeah, that's true. All that's right, true. all right, whatever. All right, drink that all because right. I'm about to win. <laughs> now I've said. Uh, now our whiskey room, our shelf is yeah. very long. Yeah, this is big. If you know what I mean. This is a and, big uh, So I had to already prepare mine. Yeah. You got to change strategy mid-game. I just was. I had already set. We mine put him aside. in the corner though, because he can't get out of yeah, here. Yeah, but I'm, I'm committed. So yeah. this is my third, and ah. it just—it's because it's a personal favorite. <laughs> this is Macrimor from Aaron Distillery, right? Now, Aaron's that island, right? Right. They only have one distillery. One distillery and three sheep. <laughs> that's, <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Okay, so this is a special edition they did called Mockery Moor. It's a peated Aaron malt. Fifth edition released 2014. Prepare to be amazed and astounded. Mm. Now, I like Aaron because it has all the smoke that Isla is famous for. Not as aggressive as like Laphroaig or Ardbeg, but um, but I like it because it's rich and complicated. But this version specifically has a lot. You know, I should put it down here. This version specifically has a lot of subtlety in it. And I, and I think because you poured so much of the Angel's Envy, <laughs> I think you um, you're probably gonna get the last word because we can't just let that sit there. Probably not. Which means we're both gonna have to finish with Angel's Envy. Oh, we only doing three each then? Huh? We're only doing three each because uh, otherwise it wouldn't be fair to you. Yeah, it yeah. Could be, I mean, it could I would be dangerous for all of us. If you give me at least four whiskeys, then I will convince you of many things. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, mm. that's good stuff. There's a nice softness to that too. It's soft but smoky. Right, well, but you right? can taste the smoke. Yeah. But it's not oh, aggressive. Man. It's not. Uh, it's not the kind of you know kick-ass smoke that you're that you think of when you think smoky scotch. All right. <clears throat> That's lovely. It is lovely. All right, cameraman. <laughs> Since you already <laughs> broke the fourth wall, <laughs> you get a vote. Who do you think won and was more convincing? 
If you, uh, if you show me, <laughs> I'm not sure how we're gonna get him to vote on this. If you show me a one, then, then Tom wins. If you show me a two, then I win. Now keep in mind uh, <clears throat> that Tom is going home tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> And I know where you live. And he has keys to the uh, the whiskey. Yeah, vault. and 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 I'm is... the one that can let you in the whiskey vault. Right. So, cameraman, who do you think won our three for three competition? Uh, I think it's definitely uh, number three, a tie. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's cheating. That's cheating. Are you still gonna let him in this place? All right. Uh, I've got the code. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> what? <laughs> Otherwise, all right. Screw it. We're finishing with angels in yeah, This is all. And what stuff. we're saying is. What's the definitive definition? That's too many whiskeys. What's the, <laughs> what's the definition of good whiskey? Either the whiskey you're drinking right now, or the whiskey I love to drink. Uh, thank you. Cheers to you. Cheers and to the whiskeys that are in your future. Mm -hmm. You're in whiskey marketing school, <laughs> which could be right here. I don't think we're. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta finish that first. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be leaving here for a while. That's true. Yeah, uh, maybe go ahead and.